Did you know that plastic was actually invented to help the environment? Back in 1864, Scientific American published a billiard ball company's competition. $10,000 for a substitute for ivory. Because at the time, billiard balls were made of ivory or elephant tusks. One tusk on average could only make about three to five balls, so you'd have to kill at least two elephants to make a full set of billiard balls. This was a terrible practice, and it became really hard to meet the growing demands of this popular game. So this company went out looking for another material that had the same elasticity, density, and hardness is ivory that could hit other balls with that signature thwack. So in response to this competition, this guy in upstate New York, John Wesley Hyatt, starts doing DIY chemistry and makes this new material called celluloid, which is a mixture of cellulose nitrate, camphor, and ground up cow bone. The material had the right mechanics for the game, and Hyatt did eventually end up making billiard balls with it. But celluloid also had the unfortunate side effect of causing a mild explosion when two balls hit each other. Still, it became the first commercially successful plastic, most famously used for film strips. So at the time, everyone was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. We no longer have to kill animals to make everyday items. Because in addition to ivory billiard balls, tortoise shell used to be, you know, actual tortoise shell. Plastic was celebrated as a miracle material that could save endangered animals while also making luxury goods available to everyone. Of course, fast forward a century or so, and now we're drowning in plastic bags and microbeads. The road to hell, as they say, is paved with good intentions.